The year is 2006. Naruto at this time in America has been airing on Toonami for about a year along with the final tuning exam arc on its way. This final exam existed of Naruto vs. Neji, Gara vs. Sasuke, and the third Hokage vs. Orochimaru. This arc was about to air on television, but for me and the rest of my friends at this time, the same question would always come to our heads and we would always ask each other every day when we meet up was, when are we getting a Naruto game? Not a new Naruto game, just the first ever Naruto game. This is still 2006 and not 2019 when the, when the story is being told. Anyway, we all seen commercials like these as a kid. Compete like a ninja! Zabuza sword cannot be beat! Huh. My turn! Shark and shooter! Transform! Launch! Direct hit! Victory is mine! Of anime! Yeah. And manga! But later on in 2006, this trailer released Awful enemies and master your ninja techniques Then, battle like never before With a friend or one against all In new multiplayer combat Unleash your ninja within Naruto, Clash of Ninja 2 And coming in October, Naruto Ninja Council 2 for Game Boy Advance Now of course only one of us in my friend group had a GameCube Cause as most people know, if you were a kid growing up in the early 2000s You know that your parents only bought you one game console And you would only get a new game every millennium or so So basically if you had a GameCube in the early 2000s And your parents wouldn't get you a new console until 2010 when the Wii came out Or if you had a PS2 then you would most likely wait until the PS3 came out out whenever that price had dropped and if you had a regular xbox at that time then your parents just didn't love you let's be real anyway if you had parents like mine then you would have to wait until the game was dirt cheap for you to pick it up as a kid and most likely because of its low price it's probably because it wasn't the best game out there and that's how my first naruto experience and my first naruto game was naruto uzumaki chronicles for the ps2 this video is actually about the differences and things that were cut between the japanese version and the english version of naruto uzumaki ninden or naruto uzumaki chronicles Chronicles, but without further ado, let's begin. So remember when I said in 2006, America was just coming up on the semi-finals of the tuning exam, so while we were living in 2006, Japan was living in 2025 because Japan was airing the Sasuke retrieval arc, so we didn't know anything about that stuff over here in America, such as no Tsunade, no Akatsuki, no Rasengan on the work, so it shouldn't come as no surprise that a lot of the key moments in the early stages of Naruto are not featured in this game, such as Gaara still being a villain in this game. You punk! So you finally come. Yeah, well, I have a little something I wanted to ask. What the heck is this operation you were talking about before? There's no point in my telling you. I'm gonna kill you both right here and now. Uzumaki Naruto. Ore ni nan no yoda. Ano sa, nishu no ida ni tomikuji ga hasamatte ru kara kaishite kure yo. Tomikuji. Shikamaru is still being a ginning and not wearing his Sasuke retrieval outfit. Alright, so let's talk about the actual main character in this game. You remember Tsunade Senju, also known as the fifth Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village? Yeah, she's more important and has more content cut out this game than any other character. Let's spot the difference. As an introduction for the start of the game, Tsunade explains to all the tunings that after the incident with the third Hokage and Orochimaru, along with the Hidden Sand Village attacking the leaf during the tuning exam, many ninjas lost their lives over these two terrible ordeals such as severe casualties and even death, so it's up to the rest of the students of the tuning exams to take on S-rank missions and even higher because of the lack of ninjas that the Hidden Leaf Village is dealing with. 
本来ならば C ランク以下の任務しかお前たちは受けることはできぬだがそのお前たちにも緊急措置として困難な任務をやってもらうことにしたつまり僕たちも B ランク以上の任務を任されるということですかその通りそんな,そんな<笑>大丈夫でしょうそういうことかああめんどくせえことになっちまったな面白そうだな私は無理強いをするつもりはない自信のないものやる気のないものは家で寝ていればいいだがお前たちの中で私が働きを認めた者には四代目ほかげの遺産を与えるはいやるやる俺絶対やるってばよヒヒ<笑>その四代目の遺産ってやつ絶対この俺がもらっちゃうんだもんね And you get all that information in one CGI cutscene in the Japanese version, fully voiced, fully animated, the works. You know what you get in the English version? A bunch of text. Seriously, that's a huge info dump just to leave out for this game, and definitely a key important factor for this game as well. And it's all because how important Tsunade is as a character, but that's not just the only thing that the English version is lacking because of her. For example, when you select a new mission in Tsunade's office, there is no character model of her in any of the scenes in the English version, but in the Japanese version, she is in every scene, every CGI cutscene, and she even interacts with the villagers that you help out along your quest. And she even gives you rewards in the Japanese version. ま、任せたって任務の内容が全然わかんねえってばよ。仕方ないだろ。店を作ってほしいとしか依頼書に書いてないんだ。店の名前は任務専門店のロロズヤカリンホ。ま、とりあえず行って話を聞いてきてくれ
日はこれぐらいにしとくってばやせっかく乗ってきたのに残念だねまあいい今回は勘弁してやるよ Kasame and Itachi, two members of a secret organization known as the Akatsuki, play a vital role in this entire game and in every scene they're introduced but are not included in the English version. During an infiltration mission in the Japanese version, where Naruto, Shikamaru, and Jiraiya hear of two ninjas overtaking a hotel, where on top of a rooftop they come in contact with two members of the Akatsuki, Kasame, and Itachi. Now, in the English version, this boss fight is replaced with Gara during the tuning exam arc, where he is still a villain in the English version in America. Yeah, well, I have a little something I wanted to ask. What the heck is this operation you were talking about before? There's no point in my telling you. I'm gonna kill you both right here and now. Let's see you try it! Oh man, I hate this gung-ho stuff, but I guess if we have no choice... Enough. Pervy Sage! If it's a fight you want, then I'll fight you. <clears throat> That's enough. I quit. I can't. Oh shit! Nikki, <laughs> やってみなきゃわかんねえってばよ。ああ。どっちもやる気満々だよ。やっぱ、いや、無事。以前会った時より強くなっていますね。<笑> むずいて来ましたね。さあ、第2ラウンド開始と行きましょうか。それとまった。ミンスルシシル、わしが知る。俺らの悪行を黙って見逃すほど、この地雷や様は甘くないわ。厄介な人が現れましたね。
In the same scene with the Akatsuki, Shadow Naruto and the Ninetale Fox are introduced and is a boss fight in the Japanese version but is not in the English version and is completely removed from the game. その通り。ここは言わば君の心の中の世界だ。てめえは君には also on that same notion, the ending has all of Naruto's friends restoring the Hidden Leaf Village back to normal, however, because of the severe casualties aren't mentioned in the English version, the game in America ends with Team 7 going on another random mission. Good morning, everyone. You're a little late. It's afternoon already. Oh. Well, it took a long time to write up the report on the last mission. Mm-hmm. That's right, the report! Hey, hey, you wrote about me in the report, right? After all, I kicked major butt and everything. What are you talking about? All you do is cause trouble. Say what? All right, stop it, all of you. We've got a new mission now. Of course I wrote about you. Huh? Not just about you, also about Sasuke, Sakura, and the other Geni. You were able to defeat Orochimaru because you all worked together. Together, you protected the village. Be proud of that. Sensei! Right then, let's get started on the next mission. And you'd better stay sharp, because this one's going to be tough. <laughs> That's just the way I like them. Yeah, uh, the tougher the better. Right! We're off! Heh <laughs> heh ガキともに。この狩りはまたいずれ。もう喧嘩いったってばよ。危うく我々はオロチマルの計略にはめられるところだった。各地の騒動は全て陽動作戦で、奴らの狙いはこの里にあったんだよ。あの後、里のあちこちで例のロッカクチューが発見された。多分お前たちが破壊した施設から本体を
Hmm. You, you bitch! というわけで、お前たちもしばらくはゆっくりと休暇を。おやナルトじゃないか。どうだ体の具合は。表彰式もう終わっちまったのか。表彰式？何とぼけてんだってばよ。ばあちゃん言っただろ。俺たちの中で一番活躍したやつに四代目の遺産をくれるって。その表彰式だってばよ。ああ、なんだそのことか。大丈夫だよ。忘れちゃいないから。で、もちろん俺に決まりなんだろ。一番活躍したやつってさ。うん、確かにな。今回下人の中でも特になるとお前の働きは大きかった。分かった。四代目の遺産を与えることにしよう。やったー！ってばよ俺。何これ。ただの来ないじゃん。そうだ。これだけ？何か不満なのか？だってだって遺産で。できる俺、螺旋丸みたいな超すげえ術を教えてくれるもんだと思ってたのに、それが苦ない一本だけなんて納得いかねえってばよ。そいつはただの苦ないじゃない。四代目の苦ないさ。え、四代目の？そうさ、四代目がキュービと戦った時に持っていたものだよ。すでに四代目はこの世にはいない。だがこうしてお前という立派な忍びが誕生して。その志を受け継いでいた。言ってみりゃそのクナイは砂糖を救った証なんだ。木陰の魂をこれからはお前が受け継ぐってことだよ。木陰の魂か。サンキューばあちゃん。四代目の遺産確かに受け取ったってばよ。そのクナイにふさわしい男になるんだよ。ああ、任しとけって。木陰の魂も名前も俺が受け継いでやるってばよ。Gara goes through a lot of character development and character reflection in this game, but is cut out in the English version, along with the intro taking out a lot of character and key moments in this game. あの霧だってばよ。それよりツナデのばあちゃんにちゃんとお礼言えよ。お前のこと手当てしてくれたんだからよ。礼なんていいよ。それよりもガーラ、お前がなんであそこにいたのか気になるね。風の国での村人失踪事件を追っているうちに、あのカブトという男にたどり着いた。やつは黒い六角柱で。血脈の力を操っていた。そしてそのエネルギーであの霧を活性化させていた。お前が取り憑かれた例の霧だね。お前を治療するときに調べたが、どうやらあれは特殊なカビの胞子らしい。人間の体にくっつくカビ？ええ、気味悪い。あの霧に取り憑かれたものは。生命力を吸い尽くされて一度死ぬ。そして生ける死人として蘇る。その死人は六角柱を介して意のままに操ることができるらしい。え、そそれじゃお前も？俺は大丈夫だ。不覚を取って霧に取り憑かれたが、砂が侵食を阻んでくれた。それがオロチマルの実験の正体か。じゃあ、さらわれた囚人たちは、奴らは死人の軍勢を作る実験材料にされた。まさか、村の人たちもか？彼らもどこかに捕らえられているはずだ。次の実験のためにな。ツナデのばあちゃん、加賀先生、助けに行かなくていいのかよ。気持ちはわかるが
もう少し待て暗部が兜を追跡中だそれにガーラお前のおかげで霧のサンプルも採取できた敵地に乗り込むにはあれをなんとかしないといけないからねまだ待つしかねえのかよ Not to mention that character models have their own cutouts in game during the cutscenes in the Japanese version, but it's completely removed and sometimes not even featured in the English version. So, what'd you think of the video? Did you enjoy the differences between the English version and the Japanese version of Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles? I hope you had a fun time watching, and if you did, then consider subscribing to the channel for more anime gaming content. I talk about everything and anything new upcoming for anime and anime based video games on this channel, and I have a love and passion not only for anime, but anime video games across the board, from Shonen Jump to even Seinen series. Across the board, so please consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know your thoughts on this new style of video in the comment section below. But thank you so much for watching again. If you stumbled across my channel, I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you have a lovely day. Thanks for watching. Nenjitsu, the art of stealth and perseverance. To follow this path, one must be strong in mind, body, and spirit. Ready, but the way is treacherous. Some will succeed, some will fail. But only one will rule the school. Naruto, one hour premiere Saturday, September 10th at 9. No guts, no glory. Only Tsunami.